DA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa is the spot, Raymond James Stadium. With the echoes of cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the Bucks were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle. And he'll be stopped up at the 25 with the Miami Dolphins. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Now the former Washington Husky. Here's Miles Gaskin. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. False start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Tua. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. William Goldston, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. On the return is Mickens. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32, they had a 10-yard return. And the Buccaneer offense will be set up well as they take over. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second and seven, Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. Brady. The reception good for seven. It's third down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and one. First carry for Leonard Fournette. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. first down. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Baker in on the tackle. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From the 28, it's second and five. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. 
No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. 45-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Pinion now to kick this one away. This is Jakeem Grant. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's the first carry from Matt Breida. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 27-yard line. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Buccaneers three, Dolphins nothing. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Here's Tua. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tua finding Williams for a Dolphin first down. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. On first down, here's Breda. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. He was brought Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. This is Gaskin on the carry. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, 
and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running. The Rush coming, and he's taken down. William Golston able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted at, their own spotted at the 14-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. 14-yard line, second and 11. Throwing now is Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. Brady, only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and eight. Catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Brady now on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Brady. Looking sideline, incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Kyle Van Noy, credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Hey, 
And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's now second and six. Shotgun now for Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Oh, he can't get away. Brady will go down. Raekwon Davis gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Here's Bradley Pena now. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 Orlando. There standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain advantage here on this drive. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and... Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 50-yard line. seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. On second down, here's Brady. Yeah, that's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Right, 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Again, it's Brady. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Tua. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. But he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. Nine yards on the punt, just two on the return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 49-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On the draw, this is Fournette. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. That's the end. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Bucks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. 
And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he's going to have a box first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. And that pickup on first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Gronkowski, the intended target, and it's third and five. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. From the gun on third down, Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Now Jones. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Complete. That second down play nets a minus four. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Raekwon Davis picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 31-yard attempt. And Suckup will put this one right through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. This will make it into the end zone. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. So Tua and the Dolphins down 6 nothing. A minute 56 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back 
to throw is Tua. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Tua going to try and go quickly here. They'll look to throw. Complete to the running back, Matt Breda. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down now, but that clock rolling. He's back to throw. That'll be complete to Breda. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. But at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Back to throw, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. And they will take a knee here. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.